welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. So this month we are reading a story about a boy, a shepherd boy, but a shepherd boy with a difference. Oh, that's true. Of course, as a shepherd boy, this young man takes care of a flock of sheep out in the fields all day long,、yeah. every day. He's a shepherd boy. That's what they do. But this shepherd boy is quite different. He actually has lots of people to talk to, and that's because he is very wise. Wise. He gives the best advice and the best answers to everyone's. Difficult questions. So this shepherd boy became very famous, so famous that the king heard about him. Now the king could never guess that one of the wisest people in the land was just a simple shepherd boy. So he asked this boy to come and visit him in the palace, and then he offered the boy a deal.、Mm, yeah, if the shepherd boy could answer three questions that the king asked him. The king would then treat the shepherd boy just like his own son, and also he would let the shepherd boy to come and live in the royal palace. Wow, and that's a really good deal, right? So, hmm, I wonder what the shepherd boy decided. Did he take the offer? We will find out in today's article. But first, let's check out all of our new vocabulary right now. 第二天的文章，牧羊人继续和国王讨论三个问题。我们先来看几个单字。第一个是 ocean， ocean， 海洋是个名词。Taiwan is an island surrounded by ocean. Taiwan is an island surrounded by ocean. 台湾是个岛，海洋环绕着。第二个单字 earth， earth 是个名词。当地球的意思时，我们都会用大写哦。Let's protect Mother Earth together. Let's protect Mother Earth together. 我们一起守护地球母亲吧。第三个单词 fine, fine, 细小的，是个形容词。The sand on this beach is very fine. The sand on this beach is very fine. 这个沙滩的沙非常细小。最后一个单词 dot, dot, 小圆点，一点，是个名词。Taiwan is a dot on the map. Taiwan is a dot on the map. 台湾在地图上看，只不过是一小点而已。The shepherd boy asked, "What are the three questions?" So the king said, "How many drops of water are in the ocean?" "I'll tell you," the boy answered. "However, you must dam all the rivers on earth and wait until I count each drop." Then the king asked, "How many stars are in the sky?" Okay, so the story today picks up right where we left off yesterday. The king just offered the shepherd boy his deal: answer three questions, and you can live with me as my son. And so the first line in today's story says, "The shepherd boy asks, 'What are the three questions?'" Okay, that makes sense because I mean, if he has to answer them, he has to hear them first. Yeah, and so the king begins with the first question. As it says next, so the king said, "How many drops of water are in the ocean?" Oh, uh oh, that's a hard question. Yeah, and that's an impossible question to answer. How was the shepherd boy supposed to even know that? Even the best scientists today, using the most powerful computers, could probably only sort of guess at the answer to、yeah. that question. Well, we'll see what kind of answer the shepherd boy can come up with in a second. But first, let's take care of a few things here. We can see that one of our new vocabulary words is in that sentence, and that word is ocean. An ocean is like a sea but bigger. It's lots and lots of salt water. So Taiwan is right on the Pacific Ocean, which is the biggest ocean in the world. And over between North and South America and Europe and Africa, we have the Atlantic Ocean, which is also very big. Lots of water. Like you would expect, because it's an ocean. It's an ocean. 好，补充一下 ，the Pacific Ocean 就是太平洋，而 the Atlantic 就是大西洋。
Mm, yeah, and the shepherd boy had to try to tell the king how many drops of water were in the ocean. Drop, drop, drop.、No、I don't know how he is going to do that. I mean, unless the boy just says something like "a lot." There are a lot of drops of water in the ocean. I don't know how he's going to answer this question. Ah,、uh, me neither. But I mean, he is very wise. So let's read on to find out what he said. Back in our story, we read, "I'll tell you," the boy answered. Then he told the king. However, you must dam all the rivers on earth and wait until I count each drop. Wow, 在这边加一个补充单词 dam 是水坝的意思，把所有的河流都筑起水。But just Mission Impossible, just 不可能的任务吧 Yeah, that's impossible. Yeah, exactly. Just like it would be impossible to count all the drops of water in the ocean. Exactly. He's clever. Super clever. And wise. Super wise. He might just be the wisest shepherd boy on the whole of planet Earth. Wow. And Earth is another new word for today.、Mm-hmm. The Earth is the name of the planet that we live on.、Yes. Our neighbors are Venus over there, and Mars over there. So if you are traveling through space and you meet an alien, and the alien says, "Hey, where are you from?" You would say, "Hey, what's up? I'm from Earth. Nice to meet you." Exactly. So that's one question answered. I think the boy is doing rather well here. Now we're almost at our break, but we do have time to read the second question that the king asks. Right, and we read. Then the king asked, "How many stars are in the sky?" Oh man, how many stars in the whole sky? That's like as hard as the first question, and of course the simple answer is a lot. But the shepherd boy is very wise, so I know he'll come up with a better answer. We'll find out after this break. At that, the boy started to draw fine dots on a great sheet of paper. When he finished, he said. There are as many stars in the sky as there are dots on the paper. So the king has just asked the wise shepherd boy another question that is almost impossible to answer. Impossible. I mean, the first question was how many drops of water are in the ocean, and the second question was how many stars are there in the sky. Well, I'm not even sure that a modern scientist working today could answer this question. I know, and if they could, they would probably be using computers,、yeah. and the answer would probably be just like a good. Good guess, like a、uh, ten billion billion. billion, billion How can billion. a simple shepherd boy be expected to know the answer to this? Ah,、oh, but you know the king has asked a question, so the shepherd needs to come up with a wise answer. And we read, at that, the boy started to draw fine dots on a great sheet of paper. Okay, so it seems like he's trying to show the king how many stars there are, which is a lot. Right, and he's using fine dots on the big piece of paper to take the place of all the little stars in the sky. That's actually a good way of trying to show it. Fine is another new word for today, and here that just means sort of thin, thin. or small. A fine line is a very thin line. The opposite would be a thick line. If you get a really new or a really sharp pencil, you'll probably be able to draw a fine line. Right,、it. and a dot is just a small round mark. Doop. Like a dot, just touch the paper with the pen or marker. Don't move it, and you have a dot. And a dot is also like a period at the end of the sentence. Yeah. So the boy got a big sheet of paper and made many, many, many tiny or fine dots on it. And so as we get back to the story, we read: When he finished, he said, "There are as many stars in the sky as there are dots on the paper." Aha! Very smart again, Shepherd Boy. He can't count the stars, but he can show using the dots and the paper that there are lots and lots. 
And if the king wants to count them, I mean, he can count them. But I think the king has a pretty good idea just by looking at the paper. 小牧童提出来的答案真是非常聪明。怎么会这么厉害呢 ？He's a smart shepherd boy. Very smart. Very wise. Very wise. All right. Well, it seems that the shepherd boy has come up with another good answer to the king's second difficult question. We'll find out what the king thinks, and also what his third question will be tomorrow. So we hope that you guys can come back to read along with us. Until then, bye bye. Bye. The shepherd boy asked, "What are the three questions?" So the king said, "How many drops of water are in the ocean?" "I'll tell you," the boy answered. "However." You must dam all the rivers on Earth and wait until I count each drop. Then the king asked, "How many stars are in the sky?" At that, the boy started to draw fine dots on a great sheet of paper. When he finished, he said, "There are as many stars in the sky as there are dots on the paper." Hello， 我是 Wendy。来看一下我们今天的第一个用语是 a drop of something， 一滴什么。Drop 呢，在这边就是用名词表示一滴。那有很多种用法，可以说 a drop of rain， 还有 a drop of water， 一滴雨跟一滴水。看个例句哦 ，There was not a drop of water in the desert。沙漠上呢，一滴水也没有。第二个是 at that 某个动作或是事件之后，或者是什么的当下，通常呢是用来强调刚刚前面有提到过的事情哦。例句是 When I told him the truth, he really didn't seem to be happy at that. 在我跟他说实话的那个当下，他看起来真的不太开心。那第三个呢是。There are as many 第一个名词 as there are 第二个名词，就是第一个名词呢和第二个名词一样多。例句是 There are as many pillows as there are blankets in the room. 房间里面的枕头和毯子一样多。Right now, I'm on Zhongshan Road. What else is there to see other than Gongzhen Baozi Shop?、Hmm. Oh, I know, the Hualien Port Presbyterian Church. The Hualien Port Presbyterian Church was established in 1907 by Dr. George Leslie Mackay. The church didn't have its own place in the beginning. In 1911, they raised enough money to build a wooden house at the site of the current church. The house had been rebuilt a few times, but then was destroyed in the huge earthquakes in 1951. They built a concrete building in 1960. So here we have this beautiful and peaceful place. You can feel the sense of spirit even from the outside of the building. It's like an oasis in the desert. It may look simple, but it is very graceful. You have to come to the Hualien Port Presbyterian Church. You will have lots of fun and learn about history. See you next time.